Blarney Castle in Cork, Ireland. Behind me, people are kissing the Blarney Stone. You've got to bend backwards and kiss the stone uh, over a, a huge drop. So some people uh, don't even want to do it. It's uh, a bit of a nerve-wracking experience. Did you do it? Yeah. How did it go? I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> hard enough. <laughs> I feel great after. You feel great? Yeah. That's the key thing. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I need to do it. I didn't need to do it. You've already got I think I have that gift. You've already anyway. got the gift. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you taking a photo of? I'm just doing a little video here for some friends. Uh, I'm in it as well. Yes. Uh, hello, friends. What's your name? It's great here. What's your name? Peter. Peter, where are you from? Uh, originally Dublin, but I came here from Germany. Okay. Coburg. Coburg, okay. Check it out in Rowan in Dunnet. All right, will do. Queen used to live there, or not? Albert, Albert, Albert. Sax Coburg family, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. So we're just here at the uh, Blarney Stone and enjoying all the good crack. The, the discussion here, you see people walking away just with the gift of the gab. So at this castle here, the Blarney Stone, people come here to get the gift of the gab, that is a gift of eloquence in speaking. Uh, but in the kingdom, we're already seated in Christ in the heavenly places, seated on Abba's throne. And there we are gifted with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. And those that includes the gift of tongues. That is the heavenly language or heavenese, you might even call it. Uh, a language that is beyond our understanding, our mental understanding, and is a language of the spirit. Um, it's so hard sometimes for people to get their minds wrapped around on the, this language because it is uh, <laughs> nothing you can learn in school. You can't learn it by taking classes. You learn it from just being in a relationship with not the Blarney Stone, but the stone, the rock himself, Jesus. And in being in a relationship with him, receiving his kiss, you receive his eloquence by the Holy Spirit. And that language is a language of intimacy, a language of joy, of love, of peace, of all the power and glory of the kingdom of God. So being in relationship with Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit, you are gifted with this spiritual blessing that is tongues. Uh, sometimes people ask, how do I get it to flow? How do I get it to start? You know, I really want this language, this heavenly language. How do I do it? Well, it's not a how-to, it's a who. As in every question that we might have of a how question, change the letters H-O-W around and change it into W-H-O. As you're in prayer with Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit, by Holy Spirit, you may feel just a release, a rushing up, uh, sometimes it's called a bubbling up uh, and you all of a sudden your tongue you lose <laughs> control of your tongue and start speaking in this new language it is uh, the language of your spirit it is your native tongue <laughs> believe it or not your native tongue is not English German or Dutch or Chinese or whatever your language is your native language is heavenese the language of Abba's children and when you learn to just flow in that language you'll find uh, great joy released uh, new things in the spirit released uh, prophecy miracles signs wonders when tongues came for me, it was just this rush of ecstatic joy and I was laughing and speaking in tongues for oh, hours. But the reason why I couldn't speak in tongues before is because I was a cognitive, intellectual Christian. So it gets beyond the mind. The mind needs to know, shh, quiet down, learn your place and let the spirit flow. And there you already know this language. So go into a song, perhaps praise, and just being in intimacy with Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit because you already have the gift of the uh, spiritual blarney and you can let it flow at any moment uh, like you can with your uh, other languages, na natural language that you, that you speak. This is a language that is gifted to you by your father and uh, as your natural father, uh, natural parents would teach you your uh, natural language so your spiritual father teaches you 
to speak your spiritual language. So just relax, let go in Him, let the mind rest, and go into praise, worship, and it is just that intimacy, and it will deepen the intimacy that you have with the Trinity. Uh, it will take you deeper and deeper into new places, new experiences, and things that you hadn't even thought about or imagined before. This goes a whole lot deeper than uh, <laughs> you can just uh, study uh, through seminary or years of Bible study. It will take you deeper and deeper into the things of the Spirit. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, I, I bless you in the name of Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit. And uh, sometimes with the tongues, uh, what may follow with it or flow with it is the interpretation of tongues. Remember that tongues was the flowing, the outflowing and start of the church uh, on Pentecost. And so it, it continues to flow throughout the body of Christ. Let it flow through you every day, every minute of your life. You're always speaking it, even when you're not speaking it. <laughs> with your tongue even your spirit is speaking it so i bless you and love you so much in jesus name